you Kenny that was once upon a Christmas all right hi Cameron hi again yeah. if you so find yourself in the group through, what, have you, what have you got in the way of notices turn there? to your neighbor um, and give them well, your... actually I have a couple mm -hmm. I've got the Kieran Callahan at the extravaganza fair um, tomorrow at 9 a.m. Saturday 10th of December and they'll be playing all throughout the day on the beautiful Extravaganza Fair stage with guest appearances from Ashton Family Circus, Miss Dylan Daisy's Magic Show and guest musicians. So that fair has quite a number of different uh, acts and yes, things happening. Yes, yeah. it does. It does. Um, I believe that that's going on all day tomorrow. Yep. And it's um, in one of the parks in town. I think it's Carrington Park yes. in, in um, Carterton. In Carterton, yes. Yep. Um, you've got the Jeremy Penguin at the Extravaganza Fair as well. Yeah. Um, and he's a performance character of Jeremy Ansley, a fantastic Kiwi comedy juggler and MC. Um, and he provides high-level com uh, comedy and um, quite an interesting picture here, I think. Whiz it over and I'll, I'll hold it up. To you. High-level comedy, not just any old comedy. There he is. In I fact, there's, there's the other band that, that are performing also. For those of you who are watching this on the television although i have to say you won't be watching this live because the horse sports are on all weekend that's true um in the name of racing or sports we've got the national drag racing champions yep um and master to motorplex um on saturday and sunday from 9 a.m and the motorplex is out by hold aerodrome right yes it is yep. um central nationals is the first uh, group one round of the National Drag Racing Championship and is open to all classes. So that could be everything from our big V8 engines, our rail cars, our nitros, right down to super streets. You know about drag racing, I don't you? I do. My, um, my stepfather um, does drag racing. Right. So keep an eye out for him in whichever one of the vehicles he may be in. We were talking earlier, Cameron and I, and she was talking about going to drag shows mm. uh, which is another type of drag so everything to do with drag cameron's your woman i am i am your lady i've got everything up with the drags <laughs> so adults are twenty dollars kids 14 and under are free tickets are at the gate and gates open 7 a.m racing starts at 10 and on saturday and 9 a.m on sunday um, there are food vendors on site and free access to the pits which i absolutely recommend you check out there's a lot of noise though so definitely bring headphones or earplugs yeah, and if you just, you know, if you, if you love just the sound of drag racing, you can just come to our place. We hear it. Oh, yeah, you day. can hear it all across town as well. Yeah. We've got the Joy Cowley book launch at the Waimari Air Eatery and Bar, um, Saturday 10th of December from 1.30 to 3.30. Featherston? Waimari Air, I think, yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure where that is. I'm not super... No, I, I'm not. But, of course, Joy lives in Featherston, and it's yes. a book town thing, right? Yeah, that's true. Booktown. I always forget about that. Bit of Sherlock Holmes deduction going on here. Um, Joy will be releasing her new novella, Blind Date, a mature love story for adult readers and children's book, Greedy Cat's Christmas. Just note that there are two separate books there. Quite, yes. A children's book and an adult's book. So she's done another in the Greedy Cat series. Greedy yes. Cat's been around for ages. I have not read Greedy Cat. Right. Maybe I'll have to pop down and have she a look. a whole bunch of them. Mm. Um, in the 70s and we've got a little excerpt 80s. the plates were full oh how delicious a christmas feet feast on fancy dishes but auntie said he's just a cat he'll eat cas cat biscuits and that is that okay um so obviously um greedy cat's christmas is about greedy cat at Christmas time, and Blind Date tells the story of Rose Gillinder, twice widowed, vision impaired, and living in a rest home. When Rose reluctantly accepts a ticket to a concert, she has an encounter that comes to show her that living life to the full, it turns out, depends neither on age nor the sharpness of one's sight. Okay. Okay. I'll leave that in mystery, I think. I'll leave the speculating to the audience. Well, of course, you don't want to blow the uh, plot. No, I don't. Uh, we've got Pure Imagination at Wairarapa College, Saturday 10th of December at 4pm and Sunday at 2pm. So matinee there if you want to take your kids along. It's a kind of dance, performing arts. Yes, thing. it is. Um, JDDC um, is 
Performing Arts School proudly presents their 2022 showcase. The production features all the school's pupils performing mixed genres of dance and musical theatre with a slick variety of music and stunning costumes, entertaining and suitable for all ages. Right. Yeah, we've got um, Barry Saunders at Truck Stop Greytown um, on Saturday at 6.30 till 8pm. Um, so we've got a Barry Saunders is joined by Alan Norman on accordion and Carolyn Easter on vocals and drums. It's a grand reunion acoustic concert event at Truck Stop where Barry, Alan and Caroline will perform together once again live from around 6.30pm ish. Quote That'll unquote. That'll be great. Um, he selected songs from his albums and there uh, will be affordable delicious food from smash burgers through to Japanese fried chicken and um, Bicycle Kitchen's famous delectable donuts. Grab a feed, take a seat and soak up some live music at Truck Stop, 102 Main Street, no cover charge. Getting to see Barry for free. Wow. I mean, I would be excited and there's food. <laughs> I, love, I love some food. Excellent. Right, well, um, <clears throat> obviously one thing that never changes is that the various farmers markets are on uh, Saturday here at Masterton at the Solway Showgrounds Greytown at Stellable Park uh, Queen that's Elizabeth on, Park yep oh that's what right that's right uh, the Queen Elizabeth Skate Park one every Saturday 10 till 2 yes. uh, the Greytown one is a Sunday thing 10 o'clock and the farmers market in Carterton is also a Sunday at 9 o'clock others a Saturday don't forget the uh, pop-up food trucks at um, uh, the town on, square. That's the one on Thursday. From Usually. I think it's four thirty to seven thirty. Very Usually. good. Four to seven. She's four to seven. Yeah, she's wrong. <gasps> I'm so uh, sorry. <laughs> hey, um, just a little bit about what's happening at Aratoi. We keep you pretty well informed, so I'm only going to tell you new stuff, which is Julia Teal. Koha presenting plenitude so that is she's a, an Auckland based installation artist and she presents the viewer with gifts a year's worth of found or donated objects within an architecture of painted builders scrap these are assembled to create an exhibition that asks us to appreciate the value in everything that surrounds us even the most insignificant item event or experience and I think they have a special opening tonight, well, 5.30. And that'll be sh a shared opening with Ngahere, the bush of Aotearoa. So um, Professional Weavers Network of New Zealand bring a tactile exhibition that blends imagination, skill and creative flair. Ngahere, the bush of Aotearoa, brings together some of New Zealand's most talented weavers. And boy, we've got some good weavers. Featuring over 45 stunning artworks, including hand-woven, textured and gauze fabrics, tapestries, jacquard weaves, uh, floor rugs and cushions. This show explores all aspects of our New Zealand bush. Sounds beautiful. It does, doesn't it? Mm. All right, so there's a joint opening, as I say, with the Julia Teal uh, Koha Presenting Plenitude exhibition, uh, 5.30 at... Out of toy, but obviously just turn up during their normal working hours for ages and you'll still get to <laughs> see those. Uh, oh, here's the thing, a little bit like your drag thing. There's the Extreme National 4x4 Trials down at Lake Ferry on Saturday from 9 in the morning till 5. Uh, yeah, and they're going to take you right close to the action. So it's a family event for anyone that loves watching spills, thrills, and adrenaline. Can you can you watch adrenaline? Um, I mean, you can watch other people be filled with adrenaline. You could. Surely. Yes. It's a synesthetic experience. It's true. Yeah. Lock in Saturday, the 10th of December, 2022, just in case you're wondering what year it was, at Lake Ferry Road, Piranoa. And share the event around with your family, friends and neighbours. So you've got... On the note of um, family events, we've got a very Carterton Christmas at Carrington Park um, right. on Sunday the 11th from 4 till 6.30. And they invite you to join them for an afternoon of Christmas festivities, fun and food as we come together as a community and celebrate the wonderful time of year that we're in. 
Um, the very talented Nick Tansley will be leading the family-friendly event, and along with his band of Christmas elves, will be le- uh, leading the carol singing. Nick Tansley, he's still around. He's almost as old as I am. <laughs> um, the Wider Upper Youth Orchestra will be there and kicking it off um, at 4 p.m. Um, we've got lots of local groups. We've got uh, the Parkinson's Choir, South End and Carterton Kindergartens, Keep Carterton Beautiful, and In Motion Dance School. They suggest packing a picnic, grabbing your friends, and heading down to Carterton, uh, to Carrington Park in Carterton. Um, enjoy the free, family-friendly, fun event. Don't forget to bring your singing voice and dancing shoes, as they expect everyone to join in. Um, and there will be a range of local food trucks as well. Right, and that's you know that's also tied in with that whole Ashton Family Circus and Dylan Daisy's Magic Show uh, is happening there. So. Uh, the theme is that this year the Ashtons are going on a holiday. Nine-year-old twins Jazz and Dallas cause chaos, while mum and dad Ashton navigate the perils of a family holiday. Dylan Daisy shares her talents along the way whilst tolerating her twin brothers. This fast-paced, hilarious show, it's a circus show, family circuit, will delight audiences of all ages. There's magical illusions, surprising twists, fabulous costumes and with a good soundtrack. So, lots happening at Carrington Park. Mm. Seems to be the um, popular spot in town. I think so. Uh, All right, I've got another thing here. Jingles, jigs, reels, a treat. I believe that's from a Celtic Christmas and Carterton Event Centre. Oh, you've got got the first part of of my notice there. I'm sorry. No, no, you you read the first part and then I'll carry on. Um, A Celtic Christmas, Carterton (laughs) Event Centre, Wednesday 14th of December, 7.30 till 9.30pm. And a Celtic Christmas by A Taste of Ireland premieres um, in New Zealand this Christmas. Right. Watched two star-crossed lovers twirl beneath the mistletoe as award-winning Irish musicians complement the world's best Irish dancers to deliver a heartwarming performance that'll leave your feet tapping, eyes shining and your soul wanting more. I wonder uh, if they can convey that much emotion. Oh, I imagine they will. Mm. Now, that was, that was a Southern Irish accent, but I just feel the next thing I say has to be an, uh, a Northern one. Get your tickets now before they sell out. Mm. That sounds very threatening. That's that's what I always think Northern Irish accent sounds like. Get your tickets now before they run out, all right? So where do you get your tickets from, I guess? Doesn't In, Any clues there? Doesn't tell me. All right. If you go onto Event Finder, they've probably got a link. So, in fact, they almost certainly have a link for buying your tickets. When is it on again? Because I've forgotten. That's a Celtic Christmas, Carlton Event Centre, Wednesday the 14th of December, 7.30 till 9.30. Great. All right. Um, I've got one more notice, and that is that the Wired Up a Heart Help Group um, is meeting again on Tuesday the 13th of December, 1.30 till 3.00. Um, and they say if you have heart disease, um, or including atrial fibrillation, you are uh, and are keen to for more information and support then we'd love um, for you to join um, they meet monthly to share stories and information with each other and occasionally host guests to facilitate discussion on a particular topic as chosen by the group and they invite um, you to come be a part of it if you would like some support or just to um, chat with other people um, with a right. similar condition it's good to have support and information uh, back up um, one of our broadcasters, Roger, who's now driving for the uh, St. John's Ambulance, you know, that sort of patient shuttle thing, was saying there's an app that you can get on your phone that will show you where all the uh, defibrillators are stationed around Masterton. Well, so that's, that's helpful. Very helpful. Good to know. And good to know even if you um, don't suffer from a condition, but you would like to be there in case you need to help someone. Well, that's right. I'll keep that in mind. That's pretty much us. It's me and Cameron. Done, mate. Oh, are we going to hear the rebirth of the Irish accent from you? Not a chance. <laughs> All right, we'll be out of here now. Goodbye, we'll talk to you next week. Will you be here next week? I would love to be. Excellent, good. All right, see you around.